guys, my name is Pantal, welcome to my channel and first of all, I am so sorry for how badly I look today. So this is going to be the first video in a series of videos that I'm going to be doing in my channel throughout the whole month of June and it consists of a series of video blogs kind of in which I will be building my dream library. I want my room to become my ideal library. I wanted to have the books I love, the books I am excited to read and I basically want wanting to describe my reading taste and who I am as a person so in order to make my room slash library be that I gotta start with an unhaul so this first video in the series is going to be an unhaul video and I, it is going to be a pretty harsh unhaul as I have mentioned multiple times in, on my channel my reading taste has changed a lot during the last few months. I used to read a lot of YA and a lot of fantasy and at this moment I don't feel like I am going back to that anytime soon so I am going to be unhauling most of the YA books I own that I haven't read and those that I read but now looking back I didn't like as much as I thought when I read them and I'm also going to be getting rid of some adult fantasy books that I just don't think I'm going to read soon and if I do I can always get them from the library or I can find them on script because I do have a script subscription so yeah without further ado let's get to this unhaul because this video might be a bit long and I do not want to make this intro I don't want to make it longer because of this intro so let's start with the unhaul the first books I am going to unhaul I have already here because I have already, already sold them and I have to ship them off tomorrow. I don't know when I am going to be uploading this but I am going to be listing all of the books I unhaul on my Vinted which is an European app where you can sell stuff if you, wanna, any, if you want any of them you can buy them from there. I will link my video my on the description of this video. But the very first two books are Girls of Pepper and Fire and Girls of Stone and Shadow. These are the exclusive failure editions. I used to be a failure subscriber, not anymore because I don't like white, I fan, white fantasy and I do not think I need to be subscribed anymore. So yeah, these gorgeous copies are going to a better home now and yeah, I really like this first book when I read it. It is an Asian inspired white fantasy that deals with some serious topics such as sexual assault. However, when I read the second one, I was very underwhelmed. It, was, it wasn't what I was expecting and I was already not going to read the third one because after this big disappointment, I have zero expectations for the third book. Next, I'm going to get rid of this gorgeous edition of Chain of Iron. This is the Fane exclusive copy of Chain of Iron, which is the newest book in the Shadowhunter series. And I'm not sure if I want to continue on with the Shadowhunter series, that is a whole different story. But this one, I already own in a different edition and I do not need two copies of it. So yeah, I basically bought it because I wanted to have access to Cassandra Clare's interview. And um, yeah, I'm getting rid of this one as well. Okay, I have no idea how you can see me, so I'm so sorry if you can see me properly. This is my big hook shelf and there I have my Shadowhunters books. And I am also going to get rid of most of these. So we are going to start with the big hook shelf because I am so sorry if you can see me very closely, too closely, and I look extremely ugly. But yeah, I am going to get rid of most of my big hook books because yeah, he is a nice author when it comes to adult fantasy novels but her YA and I do not get along so yeah let's get rid of those this I want because it's the Shades of Magic series and I really enjoyed it when I read it and I have fond memories of it so this one I am keeping for the moment uh, okay first one it, I know it's one of my adult titles but I don't know how many copies of Abby I bought I go out a bit crazy with this book and bought way too many copies so I'm getting rid of the paperback which is the first one I bought because I, wanted, I was desperate to read it and surprise I haven't read it yet but yeah this one is going and next we have some all of her YA books which are Kaid and Miyambo, which I despised when I read them. Um, 
Then it which which is her first novel I have zero interest in reading it because it is supposed to be even worse than the archive and I hated the archive. And then we have this this Abed song and all that duet because yeah they were fun when I read them but I don't think I will ever want to reread them and they should be in a better home. So I'm going to move all of this here so I can put more books. I don't know how this has turned out into an organizing my bookshelves video, but yeah, let's put this here and here. And I don't know what I do. This case is not too Next, we have my shadow hunter shelf. I don't know if you can see me. I have my. The Lost Book of the White and The Red Swords of Magic. We have zero interest in continuing with this trilogy because I do not enjoy it. So I do feel weird about Chain of Iron, which I have here because I might want to read it. But this one too, I don't even want to look at them. And next, I do have up here. I don't know if you can see it, but I do have the Spanish editions of the Shadow Hunters books, and I am putting those for sale, but they are the top shelf, and I can't get to all of them now, so I will hold. So I will unhold them later once my phone is not filming. And next, I have the Tears of the Shadow Hunters and all of those short story collection books that I have that I am getting rid of, but I am not getting rid of at the same time. I am leaving them in another room in my house and I might sell them in the future but I don't think I'm ready to completely at this moment because I am unsure about how I feel about the Shadow Hunters books because they are the books that got me into reading but I don't know if I will ever reread them so that's weird I also have a bunch of books I've gotten rid of recently which are Don't Call the Wolf by Alexandra Ross which I have zero interest in and I don't even know when I bought this but yeah then I have this Spanish book, which is Cuentos de Beret, this is a YA fantasy, and I have zero interest again. Then we have Dangerous Remedy, but Cape Dan, this is supposed to be good, but honestly, YA fantasy, no interest. And last is this one, which was a newer release, See Forgotten, and this is a Fox and Wit edition. Uh, yeah, it's a YA Phantom of the Opera retelling, and again, not going to read this, so it's going away. Hey guys, so it is the next day and today I'm going to be parking these two bookshelves and also that one there. I know I have many shelves but they are even going to be more once my room is done. So here I am not going to get rid of anything I believe because I don't know how I feel about Alice Osman because I like her stories but I don't like why anymore. So what I'm going to do is that I am not going to buy anything new from her except for Heartstopper because it's very sweet and I love it. Then we have some classics and I am not going to get rid of those and same with these ones and same story here. And then for this bookshelf, here I have a lot to take off, I think. Well, not that much. I'm going to get rid of If This Wings Could Fly, which is this one here. So yeah, I'm, going to, I'm getting rid of this one. This is a YA magical realism novel. It's sort of a coming of age one and yeah, I am no longer in high school. I can't relate to that. So I don't think I can enjoy this one. I also have some other ones, but I am going to stop here and film again another clip because this is getting very uncomfortable. So we have more things to unhold. So the three Dark Round series, we have the novella, Five Dark Fates, Two Dark Rain, One Dark Throne and Three Dark Rounds. These are YA fantasy, I really enjoyed them when I read them, they were fun, but they weren't anything special and I will never reread them, so they are going away as all the other ones I have on hold so far. Hey guys, so it's a new day and today I am continuing with my on haul and I parts some books, so I'm going to share them now. And I continue uh, parting the two shelves that I shared you the other day. And I am going to unhold the whole Stocking Jack the Ripper series. So, Stocking Jack the Ripper, Hand in Prince Dracula, from Houdini, and Capturing the Devil. These are all 
YA thrillers, I would say, historical fiction thrillers. And honestly, I've read this because of the hype and I made myself and I forced myself to continue on reading with this series because of the hype because I like I, the first book was nice but I didn't like how the mystery was solved I, I wasn't really into the mystery which was the main aspect of the novel I the thing I liked the most were the characters and this point of my life I don't I think that if I want to read a thriller or a mystery I will go for an adult one which will be, will be first more creepy and second it will actually hook me. So these are going and uh, I hope, hope whoever buys them enjoys them way more than I did. The other two books I'm getting rid of are some extra copies I had of a duology that I used to consider my all-time favorite book series but not anymore and it is Stacey Dreamer and Just of Nightmares. I read these in 2018 and at that moment they meant a lot to me they were the, some books that really hit me and that I could and I could really relate to the main character but I don't feel the same attachment I did so I think I'm okay with only on, owning one copy of the book I would rather have new books that have repeated copies of some that I do not even consider favorites anymore so that's it for this clip and now we are going to part some other shit. so I don't know if you can see this properly but this is an ugly purple bookshelf that I have and uh, it was my very first bookshelf and I really have here all my YA books because as I haven't been really into them I've been stacking them here in order to have closer to me the ones I like the most so we are going to part these shelves and from this I believe I am taking a lot of things off so this is The Children Must Guide of Vice and Virtue. This was a very popular YA book back, back when I joined the book community. Everyone was reading it and enjoying it. And so I did at that time, but the author turned out to be very problematic. And also, I don't think I will ever reread it. So this is going away. I might not sell it because I have fond memories of it, but I will for sure not have it on, in my room anymore. And oh my God, how much dust does this copy have? So another YA book, Crown of Coral and Pearl. I read this last summer, it was fun, it was nice, it is part of a duology. So even though I enjoyed this one, I do not need to own it anymore because I am never going to read the sequel. So this is going away, I would really recommend it if you like YA fantasy because this is a fun story and it is pretty underrated. Next we have Winterwood by Hien Xiao. This is another YA, this is a YA mystery horror I would say. I read it two years ago, it was fun, but I'm never going to reread it, so let's get rid of it. And then we have two other books. First, Girls and Pentathorn. This is a YA fantasy, very fun to read. If you like YA fantasy, it is a retelling, and I had fun reading it, but I am never going to reread it. And I think someone would appreciate this really pretty copy. And the other one, this Violet the Lights by Chloe Gong. Everything I've heard about this book by the people I trust and have similar taste to me has been negative. So I'm getting rid of this one. It's a Romeo and Juliet YA retelling. It's supposed to be very bad. So I am not even going to bother trying it myself. It is too long. I don't like YA fantasy anymore. So bye bye. Okay, so this book here, here I don't know if you can see this properly, but... Here I am going to get rid of the Cruel Prince trilogy because yes, I didn't like it but I realized lately that I didn't like it as much as I pretended to like. Oh, and also I'm getting rid of this one, Hunted by Megan Spooner, one of the first books I read when I joined Booktube. It was fun. I think I might keep it because fond memories but not in my room because I wanna own here the ones that, that mean something nowadays. This is a French book that I wanted with potential, so I am keeping it. So what I just said, the entire Cruel Prince trilogy, the Cruel Prince, the Wicked King, the Queen of Nothing, I don't know, and the novella which I read recently and absolutely hated. Because with some a YA thriller, I I don't know if I will keep this or sell it, but it wasn't a favorite, so I don't want to own it in my bedroom. 
This one I think I'm keeping for the moment because I had fun reading it. So this one is staying. And last here I have the Miss Peregrine Stilotti. It's supposed to be Young YA. I am not going to bother with Young YA if I don't even like the YA that is meant to be for, for older teenagers. So again, one that is going. It's day, as, so it is another day, as you can see from my outfit. And today I'm going to be parting my Sargi Mars hair, which is this one. I have so many times. I am no longer a Sargi Mars fan because, first of all, he's problematic. Um, second, I do not seem to deeply enjoy her books. I like them when I read them, but afterwards I don't feel any attachment to them. I enjoy them when I read them, but I don't feel any type of longer attachment to them when I'm done with them. So yeah, I am going to get rid of most of her books. I think I will keep the Accord of Rosa Roses trilogy because those books were some of the first I ever read. But the other ones are living. So down there I have the Throne of Glass series. That one I think I'm keeping for some time, but I will probably get rid of the books if you, in the near future. But I will for sure not have them in my room. I am not going to take them off now because they are stacked one over the other. I don't feel like doing so now. But here I have the Crescent City books and also a Court of Silver and Flames. So let's take <laughs> First thing is A Cult of Silver and Flames. This is the newest book. This is uh, the Nest Nesta's story. And um, it's supposed to be very smarty. I don't like smart. That says it all. So I'm going to get rid of two of my three copies because one of them is signed and personalized. I, I want to keep that one for reasons that you should understand. So yeah, I'm getting rid of the two edition, which I think is the one I read from. The Waterstones one, which has red spread edges. Mm -hmm. So yeah, only those books from the shelf, but there are a lot more still to own. So I will see what I do with Throne Glass and Akotar, and I might update you in answer to what I should do in the film during the filming of this video. So I guess it's time now to unhaul the big bookshelves that are always in the back of my videos. So let's see what I have here to take off. So first, Blood Air and Red Tigers. I read Blood Air, it was fun, but I don't remember much. Um, I don't feel like reading the sequel. Plus, there will be a third book, and I am not a fan of series anymore, I think. So I gotta say goodbye to this. I have this book, Where Dream Descend by Janela Angelis. I haven't read it, but I don't know what to think about it because it has mixed reviews. It, it is YA, but I've heard pretty decent things about it so I think I'm going to try to read it and if I don't like it I will unhaul it if you read it please comment down below if you like it or not because I am unsure whether I should read it or not there will come a darkness I felt I had unhauled this already but apparently I haven't so it's going away there we have Caraval I don't know what to do about these books I think I'm going to unhaul them but I will keep them in another room in my house for the moment, so same as, as so same thing as Throne of Glass, but I will probably end up unhauling them, so I am going to keep this here for the moment, and I will tell you at the ending of this vlog what I do with them. Next, the Court of Miracles. This is a way fantasy that I enjoyed when I read, but there are no news about the sequel. It's been a year, I am going to forget everything. I haven't forgotten yet when it, that, when it comes out, if it ever comes out, so I am unhauling it. I'm going to read of West, but it is Patu. I do like the first book, East, but the second one was oh, awful, horrible, one of the worst things I've ever read, so I am holding it. And then we have a Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. I have two copies of it, so I'm going to read of this one because I prefer the other one. And from the top shelf, I'm going to get rid of Seven Devils by Elisa Ney and Laura Lam. I did enjoy it when I read it. It is sci fi fun. No idea about when the sequel is coming out, so same thing as with The Court of Miracles. I will have forgotten everything once it has come out. And if I do remember, I will probably check out if it is on script and read it, and read it from there. Then I have this book, A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harness. If you read it, please tell me what you think of it, because it is beat. But I am a bit curious about it, so tell me what you thought of it, if you read it. Because, yeah, it's on school, 
but it's a part of a series and I don't know if I should bother with it or not. So size Thunderhead and it all. I read this two I read the two first two books a few years ago. I enjoyed them, but I don't remember much and I've had mixed opinions on the last one. Plus it's huge and I feel like reading it. So I guess I'm going to unhold them. Then we have King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. I think I'm unholding it, but I am not sure what to do because I do not feel like reading YA and this is YA and um, yeah. So I think I should unhold it. Should I? I have heard, I've had mixed opinions. Please tell me. I don't know what to do at this moment. I think that's it for today because I do have something to unhold from down there. But I do not feel like doing more work today. So... I guess I'll see you on another day. Okay, so it's a new day and I have more books to unhaul. So first I have the Stars Above and Fairest books from the Lunar Chronicles series. I am unsure what to do about the other Lunar Chronicles books because I have found memories of them but we'll probably end up saying them as well so it wouldn't be a surprise if you see them featured in this unhaul later in the video but these ones and the first ones I am for sure unhauling because I found them very unnecessary and I don't like why I am never going to reread them. Next we have To Kill a Kingdom by Alexander Cristo. A uh, Little Mermaid retelling. I was very into retellings back when I started reading YA fantasy. And um, this one was one of the first I read. It was fun when I read it, but I am never going to read it again. So there's no need. Here I have Don't Tell a Soul by someone. Uh, this is a new release, it is a Rebecca retelling, but I think I love Rebecca way too much for to read this story and probably be disappointed by it. So yeah, I was originally going to read it, but I don't feel like I am going to do so this year. And um, considering that I am now not into YA, I don't think I will be in the future because I will be older. And um, if YA already feels too young for me, the older I will get the less for me it will be, does that make any sense? I don't know, but this one is going as well. Why Horror Horrid by Katrina Leno, I read this last year, it was fun, I am never going to read with it, so I guess it's going away as well. And same story with The Wicked Deep by He and Show. I don't even know if I read this last year or in 2029, but Why Horror, it has good reviews, so you might like it if you like YA. But I'm never going to reread it. I Next we have Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. This book was objectively great, but I didn't understand most of it because I have a hard time understanding high fantasy, high adult fantasy. So I guess I'm going to unhold it and I am never going to read anything from Brandon Sanderson again because he's just not for me. And next we have King of Scars by Libra Dugo. I talked about this book yesterday and I made up my mind and I am going to unhold it. So I have more books and this should be some of the last ones. So I think there will only be one or two more clips tomorrow where I will wrap it up and decide on the books that I have doubts about. So yeah, the first one is Wicked Fox by Kat Cho. I read this in 2019, I think. It was fun at the time. I am never going to reread it. And as a fun YA story, it deserves a better home. Next, I have a bunch of Spanish YA, so I'm going to go through them very fast because I am pretty unsure. You don't know what any of these are, but they are La Ciudad de las Sombras, El Príncipe de los Prodigios, and El Diez de los Espíritus by Victoria Alvarez. These are YA historical fiction adventure novels. They are fun, but nothing special to me. Also, by the same author, La Voz de Amunet, this is. An Egyptian inspired way fantasy sort kind of not really my jam. I had fun while reading it, but I felt like it was a very bit too long. So yeah, it's going. Next uh, Los Espejos de Winnie Rose by Marisa M. R. Way fantasy, way portal fantasy, read it in 2018. It was fun, never going to reread it. So it's going. Next we have an entire series that I think I'm keeping and in another room of my house because this one I really enjoyed. I need these sueños de piedra, eh, Títeres de la Marones de la Libertad, Reinos de Cristal and Jaulas de Seda by Celine and Iria. 
these are YA fantasy books they are really fun when you like YA and um, yeah I really enjoy them so I am keeping them but not in my room because I only want to keep here the ones that I, that describe my test right now so these ones I have fond memories of and I want to keep them but just not in my room the same authors I have for La Muerte this is fantasy romance I don't feel like reading it, it's a game that I got designed and personalized, so I am keeping it for that sole reason, but yeah, I am never going to reread re it, so it's going to another room of my house. And that's it for today, so see you tomorrow, so it's a new day, as you can probably tell, and I part a few other books, so I'm going to share them with you. First, we have The Darkest End of Paris of Frankenstein by Kristen White, I read this, I don't know how many years ago, it was fun at the moment, but I am never going to reread it. So, it deserves a better home. Next, I have The Life of Saints by Lee Bardugo. I am not that big of a fan of the Grigia trilogy, so I, so I don't think I will never read this one. So, yeah. And same story with the collector's edition of Hell One Bone. I have no idea why I even purchased it, to be honest. It was probably me seeing a pretty book and deciding that I wanted it, so I click purchase. But I don't think I need it. And the other one is The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo, another Grigia book. I have read this one, it was fun, nothing amazing. I think I'm going to unhold the Grigia trilogy too, which is on there, but you'll see that later on in the video. Hey guys, so I think today is going to be my last parting day. I don't know how many times I say that already. I am so sorry this vlog keeps going on, but, uh, but I finally made up my mind and I am going to unhold the Kingdom of Back by Mary Lou. I was originally going to give this a try, but honestly, I don't feel like reading YA, so I am going to force myself to do so. Also, after reading a chapter of it, I am going to be unholding A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harness. I read a chapter of this one and it was easy to read, it was a fun one, but I don't think that reading the 500 pages novel will bring me anything and it will be a loss of time because when I'm, if I read this I will be thinking that I could be reading something better so yeah, I guess I am unholding this one as well. So I'm going to unhaul The Bonjour Daughter by Andrea Stewart. This is an adult fantasy. I've heard pretty good reviews of it, but I am not a big adult fantasy fan. I do not like high fantasy because I struggle to understand it. So I guess this one is going to a better home because I've heard that I've heard very good things about it and I am sure someone who likes adult fantasy is going to really enjoy it. Next, I'm going to also be unhauling the City of Brass trilogy, so City of Brass, Kingdom of Copper and Empire of Gold, all by S.A. Chakraborty. These, um, these books are adult fantasy, and as I just said, I am not a big fan of adult fantasy, I struggle to understand it. They are big chunkers, and if I don't feel like reading them, and I don't think I will in the next few years, I don't think there is a need for me to keep them, because if I ever feel like I want to read them, I can always get them from the library, or buy them in paperback, so yeah, these ones are going as well. And speaking of other fantasy, I am, going to, I am also going to be unhauling the Poppy World trilogy because the same story as City of Brass and the One Heart Daughter, they are adult fantasy and I don't like that genre, so this deserves a home and this deserves to be loved by someone who will actually love them. So that one, uh, The Dragon Republic, and the burning god. These are big chunkers, so yeah, I am completely sure I will not read them in the next few years. Next I have Witchwood by Tahara Mafi. This is a middle grade that I read. I had fun reading it. I am never going to reread it. So, same story as from once I pulled the young hole. This must go. I'm going to be unholing The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Hyaman, and this is actually the second time I unhauled this book because I used to own the hardback, but I unhauled it to buy the paperback because I thought I was never going to read a chunker from a hardback because it would be too uncomfortable. But um, So I repurchased it in a paperback form, but high fantasy, not my jam, so it's going. Plus, it's almost 100 pages, and if I don't like adult fantasy, Will I ever bother to read a 100 pages novel that is a adult fantasy? <laughs> Next we have Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. This is a YA magical realism book that I read a few years ago and it wasn't my favorite thing ever. 
So I guess I'm going into unhaul as well. Next we have House of Salt and Sorrows, a way retelling of it, 12 Dancing Sister Story. I read it, I had fun while reading it, but I don't think I will ever feel like pre-reading it, so it doesn't really deserve a spot on my bookshelf. Also I'm going to unhaul these editions of the Nevernight Trilogy because I already have those and those are signed so I prefer to keep these signed ones. This is Adult Fantasy, I read it and really enjoyed it so even though I don't think I will ever reread them I want to keep them because they are signed books and I have fond memories of them. And also I decided that I am in fact going to unhaul the Carnival Trilogy so you will stop seeing these three big boys in the back of my videos really really soon. And also I am going to be unhauling the Grisha Trilogy, which is back there. I didn't like these books at all when I read them. I found them very tropey, not good at all. So I am going to unhaul them for that same reason. Hey guys, so that is all for the unhaul. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this very long dog style unhaul video. This is, as I said at the beginning, the first video in a small series of videos that I'm going to be doing while my dream library of my bedroom. I hope you enjoyed this first one. I might unhaul a few more books but I am not going to film that because I am not quite sure if I will for sure do so or not. I hope you had fun watching this. I hope you didn't get too mad with me unhauling all these YA books that you might like. Comment down below if you if you like doing unhauls once you don't feel like you like them anymore also comment down below if you like watching this type of videos and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and i hope you guys are amazing and i will see you in my next video bye